What's up? It's your boy Carcino here. I'm going to tell y'all a couple of things about the top 10 worst movies of the year. And a couple of things I'm going to tell you is these are really the top 10 worst movies of the year. Straight up. These movies suck, y'all. And number 10, we have Pixels. It was hard. I even, you know, we have a lot of movies that didn't make the list, but let's start off with Pixels. And I would debate it because I love the games that they were playing on the movie. But the movie is so bad because it's unbelievable. I mean, Adam Sandler is the 40-year-old tech guy. Kevin James is the president of the United States. It's, it's really a joke. And it's like they, they wanted to sell you on the actual game and playing the games and and basically that's it these games are trying to rule the world and it's just bad it's really bad it's, to even explain it is dumb and they using the 80s pop to come leave us a message and it was dumb and some people kept going there because they just wanted to see the game i don't know how much they paid for licensing to do this but i don't think it recouped it at all you know, I know people could love to see Adam Sandler movies, but this was really bad. So I think, you know, the magic is wearing off. But definitely, like, one of the worst he's done. Um, next, we have Jupiter's Ascending at number nine. Jupiter Ascending is really bad because of the simple fact that with Jupiter Ascending, uh, Jupiter is the weak worst character in the movie she does nothing the entire movie but be rescued she has no skills she has no power meaning while you got chatham tandem on flying boots flying around with elf wolf ears or whatever it's a bad twilight movie she falls in love with the wolf chatham tail who keeps saving her the same time over and over and over again so it becomes a, a, a repetitive movie that doesn't end. It just keeps doing the same thing over and over and over. You're like, why is this movie still going on? And let me see how my list goes. Uh, okay, we did that and we saw how terrible that was. Uh, okay, now this, now listen. This top 10 is different from what other people may have. They might have some old Nicolas Cage movies that are straight to video. If it's straight to video, I'm not really going to rate it because they, they pretty much know what they got. They're not gunning for the Oscars. Okay. I'm talking about movies that know better. They, they put this product at the theater because they expected big things to happen. OK, we're looking at these people that really advertised and tried to take your money, not people that just threw movies out at the video store. So let's go to number seven. Number seven is Paul Blart Mall Cop 2. As this movie was not funny. Normally a mall cop, it was funny, you know, and entertaining. And this is unfortunately what made the Kevin James series happen. It's like he's been playing Mall Cop when he was the zookeeper and everything else. Kevin James falling her down and running a Segway machine is not funny anymore. There needs to be a story that makes sense. And this movie just made no sense. I like stupid, funny things, but the actual security guard fight was probably the best scene of the movie. The bad guy is just a bad guy for no reason. The plot is stupid. And it's not even entertaining. Kids and people that were there to watch the film, like families, they were bored. They were just looking, trying to laugh at a movie that's supposed to be a comedy. And unfortunately, it was not the worst comedy of the year because Unfinished Business actually took that award because... That is number six, because Unfinished Business was really bad. Vince Vaughn, I'm like, how did you get in a script where it's just not funny? And being extra lewd is not going to make it funny. People got to get out of that fad. 
the gay thing, the extra lewd stuff is not making the movies better. It's actually making it worse. And especially when it's just not a funny script. It needs to be in a funny type situation. You got to have better writers to this. You know, Vaughn, I don't know what's going on with him. I think he's probably at the end of his rope, too. He can't do serious roles. He can't do these roles. And it's it's just really bad. And number five, we're going to go with Taken 3, a movie that never should have been made because he basically made like six Takens already. I mean, it's ridiculous. How many times can he keep losing his family? Or they keep kidnapping the same people. Now that this movie, they killed the wife, who's a meaningless character in, in the first two anyway. So now she's killed in this one. And they framed him, and now he's getting the phone. I'm going to find you, and I'm going to kill you. <laughs> and he goes back to the original scumbag who was in part one with the husband. You know, so it's like, good. He was a scumbag in part one. Let's go get him. <laughs> Make him a bad guy or something so we can come get that scumbag. You know, and it's just terrible. You don't care about the characters. You don't care about Liam Neeson no more. At this point, you've seen him do this in every movie he's been in. <laughs> so it's like he's taken and everybody waits for him to get the phone. Get the phone, man. Go ahead, brother. Get the phone and let him have it. Get it to him, brother. <laughs> Number four, we have Transporter. Refuel. Which means that it's the same movie. We're going to give it to you. Just except for we just cut Jason Statham out of it. Now we're going to give it to you with this new guy. And it's so dumb. I mean, you got this his father in this who just sits around, lays up all day, gets kidnapped. Everybody walks outside, gets kidnapped. The story is so unbelievable and stupid. And they try to make it like it's complicated, and it really isn't. It's just really dumb. It's like, why you keep, who cares? Really about any of these people. You don't care about the strippers. You don't care about these women that's out here doing these missions. You don't care if they die. You don't care if they live. You don't care about any of them. You don't even care about the transporter. This movie's terrible. They had like one good fight scene that they worked on and the rest of the sequences was just like, who cares about them anyway? So it just doesn't even matter. It was very poorly shot and, and you don't believe it because the acting is so terrible. It's like no one, believes the um, they're in an emotional state of where well, we need someone to rescue us so there we go that's number four and i think we got three more left on this list and the next one would be paranormal activity whatever the last one was <laughs> whatever the name of that one is because uh it's like it took everything you liked from the first paranormal activity and erased it all. And now you don't like anything about it because now you get to see the girls scare the people. No more jump scares. Now we're going to sneak up on you and scare you. And you can see it happen. Just just cancel it, man. It's done. You milk the people with paranormal activity. I knew it from the first one when they kept making it a series that people were really stupid, spending their money, going back to wait, watch a, a, a useless movie. You're not going to get anything out of it. Nothing to report about it. It's just ridiculous at this point. And number two. Let me see. Did I get that right? Okay, that other one should have been number four. And I think this is number three. Yeah, uh, Fantastic Four. Fantastic Four is was a, the reason why it's so high on my list is because of the failure of it and the scale of it. It had the potential to be really good. And it looked like they had a script that was going well. It just took too long to develop. Like the story is like too long. It's like, man, it's taking forever to 
to introduce all the characters with all this backstories like you ain't gonna have time to go into the, any action scenes there's no action scenes in these build-ups there's nothing it's like you don't believe the relationship with sue storm and this guy you, you don't think they ever dated you know it's like are you kidding reed richards don't like he even gives a shit about sue storm or vice versa and Ben Grimm, I don't think he have any reason to to be buddy buddy with Reed at this point. And then Doctor Doom, he gets on the screen and everything happens in for like ten minutes. And you're like, I feel like I just got a ten minute movie. What happened here? Something went terribly wrong. And of course, you knew people were fired and people been fighting ever since. And you know that movie wasn't promoted right people knew it and it was bad yeah there should be two on my list now yes there is only two left and i gotta do it number two is hot pursuit i was still debating on should i change it but no Hot Pursuit is, is definitely Reese Witherspoon and Sophia Guerrero. And they just stumbling along in this little girl chase, uh, getting away from the from the drug lords. And it's so stupid. Reese Witherspoon is this witless cop. And she's about 120 pounds soaking wet. Trying to escort Sofia Guerrero around on the way from the Mexican mafia, and she, oh my God, where we going? And oh my God, what 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 we doing? Oh my God, we got to do to take the car. It, it was terrible. All that through for for about two hours, and I had to endure that. So you guys have stolen my time, you time thieves. Now, <laughs> let me see what we have next. Oh, number one, Fifty Shades of Grey, the worst movie of the year. It has grossed a lot of money and has stolen so much of people's time. That movie made no sense because I saw the movie before. I said, well, then I said, let me go read the book. It's terrible writing. And I know what they're trying to do. They're trying to say as much as he pushes and pulls back. He gives so much and pull back and he won't open up and she wants him to open up and be more open to her and let her in. And she thinks she's making progress and he pulls away. And every time she gets close to the line, he draws another line and she keeps moving closer to it. Then she says no when he comes back. And it's a way of pulling her more towards his life and what he wants. But it's garbage. The movie's garbage. The First off, she keeps saying how she's not doing something and she comes back and keeps doing it. And the way they're doing it in the writing process is stupid. The words they're using, the dialogue, the, the scale of it and the scope, you think you're gonna see something great and then it comes out to be nothing. The love scenes, it doesn't even seem that trivial. Tri you know, like it's nothing like the book. I mean, at least the, the, the love scenes, you can use your imagination and it's, a lot more elaborate than what they gave you. So, I mean, you just got lethargic acting mixed with people who really had no connection whatsoever in the film. So you, you really got robbed. In 2015, there wasn't a lot of good movies until like November and December. Other than that, you really got gypped. Nothing like 2014. And we'll go through the best next, but now you just heard the worst.